the Barlonyo massacre on February 21, 2004 was one of the worst atrocities committed by the Lord's Resistance Army. 121 people are reported to have been slaughtered by the rebels. 20 years later, the World Monument Site for Peace has been turned into a market and grazing area. Annually, hundreds gather here to pray and remember the victims of the massacre. In 2019, the Ministry of Tourism made the commitment to upgrade the site into a tourism destination. Speaking during the 20th memorial ceremony held on Tuesday 21st at the site, leaders asked the tourism minister to consider fencing off the area to control not only stray animals, but also people who are currently misusing the place. So there's a lot that's going through in this community. This community needs psychosocial support. A special grant be given to first lift Bologna. Grace Freedom Kweyochuin, the Minister of State for Northern Uganda, witnessed how the site has been abused. She says government plans to compensate the survivors. When our people die, they don't actually die. In spirit, they are there. And I want to ask, where is our culture? Where is our value of respecting grace? I even saw... I saw people walking on the other one day. State Minister for Tourism Martin Mugara committed to protecting the site for posterity. And even the issues that have been raised by the leadership, we are aware and we are going to support fencing of this site and also training the guide. On the other hand, cultural leaders asked the ministry to first leave Barlonyo Memorial Site to act as a central place for commemoration of all massacre sites in Lango. We have mooted a plan at the Nao Cultural Foundation so that we sit together and chart a way forward how we should manage sites such as this all over Nao. Let us also mention some of those prominent sites where people were killed, not only Baronio. The clergy are also calling for more psychosocial support for the locals, especially after hearing about the rampant cases of murder in the area. People are still lingering upon the pain that they had in the past. Between 2010 and 2013, Ministry of Tourism with the funding from the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs renovated the massacre grave and constructed a documentary resource center at Barlonyo where women can sell their crafts to the tourists. Adiola. You'll be seeing